So if you put all of these pieces together, uh, here's the, the life cycle for TCB. Uh, we have a client on the left and a server on the right. So the server has to find out where it wants to locally serve from. And then it creates a socket, then it binds that socket to an address based on the get editor info lookup. Then it starts listening, and um, uh, after it starts listening, then it needs to call accept to accept the connection. And accept will block until some connection is made. Then on the client, the client uses get adder info with the server's address instead of its own address uh, to get the server's address. Uh, uses that to create a socket and then uses the address to connect to. So connect here on the client is going to send um, some packets that you don't see directly to trigger a new connection on the server side. The server side will get that new to file descriptor. The connected socket will be connected as that file descriptor. And so there we have the, the stream-like communication channel between the two processes. And they can use the usual system read and write to communicate to each other. Eventually, one of them closes the file descriptor. Um, and so that sends an EOF, uh, just like closing a pipe, to the other end. Um, if they both do that, then EOFs are going both ways. But meanwhile, they get to read and write freely between them. This channel of communication is two-way, as represented by the arrows, you know, one file descriptor that you can read and write from. Uh, suppose that a client wants to send an EOF but still wants to read uh, responses from the server, then close would be bad, because close both closes both the read and write aspects. There's another function, shutdown, that you can use to shut down just the right half, send an EOF, and read some final responses from the server, say. Meanwhile, this particular pattern of get editor info through listen is very common, and so the book, you know, with csapp.c provides a convenience function, open listen fd, which just takes strings um, for the port where you want to, to listen, and it does all of this work. Uh, meanwhile, there's also open client fd, which takes string for the host name and a port number, um, and does all of this connect work. And what you get back is a file descriptor. That's what the fd part is. The reason that uh, open listen FD doesn't go all the way through accept is because the server might use accept multiple times. If multiple clients contact the server, um, each of them uses connect, and that connect is uh, accepted through the accept function, but then each of them creates a separate file descriptor from the server side uh, for communicating with those two different processes, so it goes into some sort of read-write loop for each of those. Um, exactly how we do both of these at the same time depends on how you write your server. Uh, it might be that we take care of this one and then accept a new one and do them serious, serially from the server, or maybe we do more concurrency as we'll talk about later.